Good y'all, we back with another video, man. How y'all doing? How y'all doing great today? Um, today we got top 10 evil events in history we were never taught about in school. So we finna see what these history teachers lied to us about. Potentially science teachers. You know what I'm mean? saying? So we finna get into the video. And yeah, bro. See what we've been lied to. Experiment to the story. great it's leap his forward. Story. Yeah. Here are your top 10 evil events in history we were never his taught story. about in school. But before we dive into today's video, oh, no. I want to give a shout out to today's video sponsor, Magellan TV. Magellan TV is a hidden jewel in the streaming Get your service bag, world, no, bro. beginning Get your of bag. the witch trials that took place all over Europe before hitting the infamous Salem in Massachusetts. It's essentially the origin story. In our number 10 okay, spot, yeah. we have the mosquito experiment. This experiment is truly the the most surprising one to me on this list. I cannot believe how many people don't know about this. Apparently in 1956 it. and 1957, the US right. Army conducted a series what of experiments on Georgia, Florida, and Savannah, where millions of infected mosquitoes were released into the public in order to see if insects could what? spread yellow fever. The what? Result? Well, Bro, they learned what? that indeed they can. Of course, at the expense of the American people's health, and as many died, many up, developed yeah. fevers, respiratory problems, stillbirths, and so much more. Allegedly, researchers posed as public health workers and asked people if they needed help in order to get close to them and observe them. Pretty evil, in wow. my opinion, and makes you wonder and hope that nothing like that is happening to us right now, but possibly at wow. this moment in time, we are not aware of it. If you're liking this video so far, don't That's forget to smash that cool. like button as it will really help us out. In our number nine spot, we have the Black Death. The Black Death is definitely Black one death. of the craziest events in history that is definitely taught about in some schools, but as this was so long ago, it's not as frequently spoken about like World War One and Two, for example. It is also known by its other labels, the Great Plague or the Black Plague. And as you can tell Our by the title, man, it was a man. horrible widespread pandemic that killed from 75 to 200 million people. They say, at least half of Europe what? at the time. It took place in 1346 to 1353. Years. As you can imagine, such a plague during a time where no one could stay indoors and communicate online, there was mass chaos everywhere. People blamed religion, witchcraft, and anything they could blame. There is a very famous painting by the name of The Triumph of Death by Peter Brugel that is supposed to be depicting the chaos of that time. There is so much death and things on fire, the painting is truly haunting to look at. In our number eight spot, we have mm -hmm. government testing. Glad in 1954, the US government performed a series I don't know why to play his games on their phone no more, bro. Series of nuclear tests in the Pacific Ocean called Castle Bravo and Castle Bravo. The explosion occurred a little too close to the Marshall Islands and it heavily impacted the people there. The Marshallese people had radiation poisoning poisoning, beta burns, and of course, as you can imagine, many mean, developed man. cancer. After this event, the US created a new project called Project 4.1, where they examined and studied the after effects of the explosion on the Marshallese people, and many wondered, was the explosion perhaps on purpose so that the US could study the effects on these people? Now that would be a truly horrific thing if proven to be true, not that anyone would ever be able to find that out, but regardless, why don't more people know about this very serious event in history? I bet you the Marshallese people are are still dealing with after effects. In our number seven spot, we have the Nanking <laughs> Massacre. The Nanking Massacre took place in 1937 to 1938, and even though it was only one year, a significant amount of damage was done. This was a time when the Japanese Imperial Army invaded Nanjing, China, and a series of killings and many other brutal forms of torture took place. It has been estimated that over 300 thousand died and the women were ordered to do unspeakable things to their offspring. It's quite horrific oh so I God. cannot go into detail otherwise YouTube that, will censor the video but it's wild to me that not many know about this horrible event in they history. Did, in our number six spot we have the Great design. Leap Forward. In Canada yeah. we are taught a little bit about world history and then our own Canadian history but I was never taught about this catastrophe so I thought 
I would include it in this list. If you were taught this, then that's good because this is definitely an event that everyone needs to know about. Between 1958 to 1962, a policy was put in place implemented by Mao Zedong, who was the chairman of the Communist Party in China, and this policy led to the death of up to 45 million people. How was this policy nice. even implemented? Well, under the disguise of distributing the wealth and making everyone equal as a sort of utopian paradise so that their country could surpass their competitors. But this quickly turned into people not being given food, which led to a projected 25 million dying of starvation. And when incentives no to work were removed, violence was used to motivate people. Oh, and did I mention that food was only given to those that followed the party's every order? Pretty horrific and crazy to think that my mom and dad were alive when this happened. It was not that long ago. In our number five Canadian, spot, we I, have I the, Taiping the Taiping Rebellion. The Taiping Rebellion, also I, I, known as the Taiping Civil War in 1850, was a massive civil war that took place in China. The French, British, and American mercenaries were all involved. The country had suffered some major disasters, natural and economic, before the rebellion began, so as you can imagine, they were quite vulnerable. Also, apparently the Europeans brought an opium addiction to China. At the Time, the Qing Dynasty ruled China, and during this period, in comes a man named Hong Zekuang, who claimed to be the younger brother of Jesus Christ. This war lasted till August of 1871. is known as one of the bloodiest civil wars in history, People killing say anything, 20 bro. million. I'm just, I'm just in our number four spot, now. we have People two heads. Anything, this is bro. one of the most evil things on this list, talk, and for bro. anyone that likes dogs, anything, this bro. one may break your heart. This was a Russian scientist scientist in the 50s by the name of Vladimir Demikhov, and he ended up being the founder of human organ transplants, which arguably is one of the greatest discoveries in the last 100 years. The amount of lives this discovery has saved is probably unfathomable. So to think that dog, before bro. this discovery, the same doctor was performing head transplants on dogs nasty, for fun bro. for five years, it's just so hard to believe. In our number three spot, we have a- That's bad, bro amusement park deaths. A lot of people don't realize this, but many amusement parks around the world have had tragedies. Ironically, because these are places you would hope to go to to feel joy, not sadness. Lake Shawnee Amusement Park is one example of a park that experienced one too many tragedies. The park was located in West Virginia from 1926 to 1966, and it had quite a few deaths on its hands while it was active. People believe that the land was cursed, though, because before the park opened in 1783, many young European settlers were killed on the grounds by the natives in that area because the grounds were already a sacred burial area for them before the new settlers took over the land. People believe that all of the bloodshed left a mark on the energy of the area and that is why the park never had a chance. In our number two spot, we have the Soviet deaths. Here we have yet another event where the government has put policies into place under the cause of making the country more economically and socially competitive, but yet the people suffer tremendously because of it. From 1917 to 1953 under bad, the Soviet bro. Union, approximately 49 million Russians died from a combination of revolution, starvation, and the forced resettlement, similar to the Great Leap Forward policy. Apparently this initiative was due to one man, Joseph Stalin. It has been said that this desire to build a new and better country at any cost and to keep his power is the direct reason for all of these deaths. In our number one spot, we have the Mongolian the conflict. Do anything this is something people certainly know a little bit about, but perhaps not the extent of it. Somebody. Certainly those man, of us man, in North America are not taught much, but that's, that's probably because it be, didn't yeah, take I'm place just, here and there's just so much history to learn. The Mongol Empire was one of the largest in the world, covering 16% of the earth at one point. It was run by Genghis Khan, a man who is said said to have more blood on his hands than anyone in history. Approximately 60 million died under his ruling and also many women were severely harmed during this time by the men and million, it is said that Genghis Khan alone million. may have reproduced a ton of children as people say that he had mm. about 500 secondary wives. What? Yikes. I'm Melissa Malati and I Yo, hope bro, that you have what, a good bro? day, sir. Dang, but she got us out of there quick. But anyway, bro, I'm still over the fact that they had 500 wives. Like, I am, bro. Um, hope you guys like the video, bro. Um, you know what I'm saying? Tonight, man, got no saints. Well, when y'all when y'all see this video, it won't, it won't even be the game will already be over with. Hopefully, the saints won. Hope you guys like the video. Have a good day, man.